What's up everybody? This is Dylan. And I'm Lydia. And we're here for Broken Pictures. Uh, we do the FOMO show, uh, pop culture podcast every week. Uh, we're on break right now, but uh, we just watched Aquaman. Uh, also, don't forget to check out the website. It's www.broken.picturesno.com. And um, so we just watched Aquaman and we're going to do our first reaction uh, movie review like we usually do. Uh, so... And you can find uh, the podcast for the FOMO show wherever you find your podcast, or you can uh, watch the video on YouTube or Facebook or wherever. Anyways, I don't think it's on Facebook yet. But anyways, point being, we just watched Aquaman, and this is our first take. Just watched it. Hadn't really had a whole lot of time to process it, but this is our first reaction to it. You want to go? <laughs> this is the face I was looking at during the entire movie. <laughs> Was looking over something would happen I'd be like I wonder how she thinks about that and I'm like <laughs> just I feel like after you mentioned after when we were driving over here real quick he was like the reviews were accurate that they said it's one of the best DC movies but it has its flaws you know mm. I, I agree with that it just could have been so much better that I think that that's why I don't like it I think I had my hopes a little too high when I hear all the time, like, oh, wow, Aquaman's doing so great, so great, so great, mm. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I forget that it's still, like, the bar is still set really low. <laughs> so. That's fair. My expectation was, like, way up here. But in reality, for a DC movie, it, it was pretty good. Mm. But my expectations were way expecting more. Yeah, for wh how well it's doing overseas and everything right now, it's killing it. <laughs> overseas oh <laughs> so excuse me I drank a lot of soda during the thing yeah he leaned over <laughs> after and was like dude he comes in your car <laughs> yeah actually oh. in fairness normally I would but <laughs> so yeah anyway my my thoughts were were the same there were some some things were were forced and like I could see like the 80s references where it was just like bad character development and plot uh, but it was still a lot of fun. It, I mean, if you compare it to like an adventure movie like Goonies or something, Goonies still kicks its butt, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, there was just... It was a great spectacle. It looked great. Well, some of the CG was kind of hard to believe. I remember... I really? I, I thought, <clears throat> like, if I was going to give it any, like, a quality compliment, I would say that the 3D was good. Yeah, we watched it in 3D, by the way. Right. 3D was good. Of course. And it was good. Yeah. I remember seeing the first trailer and I and seeing them underwater speaking and I was just like, this is this looks dumb, you know? But to be honest, that was kind of the coolest part for me. It was like, I feel like it was, it was, a was done echoey. well yeah. all the way until the end. The end is where I didn't really like it. Oh. Well, yeah. So, like... Uh, Aquaman is a lot of things like it's hard to take seriously so I feel like he did pretty he did James Wan did really well considering the content he was adapting and I, but I, at the same time I, I feel like it could have been so much better yeah because I mean there's some uh, uh, there's room to grow there's there's story to go uh but he really leaned into the cheesy and so that and part of that was why it was so much fun but at the same time i felt like a lot of it was just forced yeah a lot of it was forced but when they did it well they did it really well yeah so that was kind of nice like they either they either missed the mark completely or they nailed it Mm -hmm. I felt like there were more nails than there were missing yeah. the mark. Mm -hmm. So that, I mean, As, can't yeah. complain there. As DC movies go, this was absolutely on par with Wonder Woman, I think. Absolutely. Uh, well, I think Wonder Woman was a little bit better. I didn't see as many flaws in Wonder Woman as this was. Oh, I like, did. Really? Oh, for sure. Oh. Yeah. This one, the flaws to me were, were more obvious, but I still really enjoyed it. It was still a lot of fun, and it gave me a lot of hope for DC. Uh, the DCEU, which it, I don't know what they're doing right now. It's like the week before Aquaman came out, people were bowing out. But then when Aquaman was showing to do well, 
they were kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still in. <laughs> so, I mean, I can't say I blame them because, you know, if they're moving forward, you know, I mean, and they, they've already killed the but Superman, too, Aquaman. and then, yeah, and the Flash movies. So I don't know what they're going to do moving forward, even though they're doing more DC movies that aren't DC movie, EU movies. Anyways, uh, I feel like that's a little relevant. So we're not going to do... Uh, do you have anything else to say before we do spoilers? All right. So uh, in, in, in the light of FOMO, which means fear of missing out, do you say miss it or don't miss it? Mm. I would watch it if it came on TV for free. <laughs> I say don't miss it. Because I do feel like it, it was, it was worth seeing in a the theater. Like it was, it that was didn't make it, it better. Was yeah, some parts you just have to grit your teeth and and get through. But it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It was, I mean, there were some bad spots, but they weren't that bad. No, they weren't that bad. But would I pay thirteen dollars to go see it? True. No. Yeah. But some people, some people aren't as as movie critic as we are i guess and they'll probably not even know it was for someone who used to purely enjoy movies for mo like <laughs> literally as a movie i would not have enjoyed this movie oh really because it was so con it was so hard to watch at some points <laughs> like i know that that sounds different than what i said a few seconds ago but it was just very difficult, and now that we're gone, I really don't remember a lot of the movie. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I'm that's that's really all I can it say. Was it was fun, but I wouldn't fun. pay thirteen dollars to go see yeah. it, and I, I wouldn't buy it on DVD. I, but I watch everything. I'm not going to buy it on DVD just because I don't own any of the DCE movies, and so why would I start now? Until they start getting like really, really good. Um, but. I would I would say don't miss it in the theater. I would say go, because it's still a lot of fun. I think. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get into spoilers now. So if you're not into spoilers, hope you uh, had a great time watching. Don't forget to check out the website and check out the podcast. Uh, we'll be starting up probably again next week uh, with the FOMO show, and when The Walking Dead starts back, we'll start back with the um, the Broken Dead podcast. Not like this Tuesday. It'll be next Tuesday. Because right, this yeah. Tuesday is New Year's Eve. Correct. I mean New Year's Day. Right, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it'll be like on the 8th or 9th when we film again. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so, anyways, all right. Sayonara. See ya. Uh, so, now everybody that has, that doesn't want to see spoilers is gone. So, uh, is there is there anything that you want to say that's just... You look like you're chomping at the bit. There's like something that you really want to say. <laughs> you can tell when she gets close. Who create? Who made this movie? Jane. Oh, the director. I don't know the person who did casting. Oh, casting. I don't know. You cast person. You. Where? What cemetery did you dig Nicole Kidman out of? Oh my to gosh. put her in this movie. I actually enjoyed, enjoyed her in this movie. It was, it was from I thought it was, the Men in Black one where he stretches the skin back. Oh, like, man. is that better? No, the CG really. I, as the CG was really bad on the father character from the very beginning. Yeah, but on her, I didn't. I thought it was it was decent. It was decent. Some That's of, the scary part. <laughs> but some of it, like at the very beginning. It was all CG, like their faces and stuff. You know how they did, like in X Men yeah. Days of Future or whatever it was. Um, I don't but like it. It was like computer. It almost felt like I was watching a video game. Exactly. That's why I don't like it. Yeah. You could have cast someone who was actually young. Well, is it easy? Well, is it easier to cast an old person to play young or a young person to play old? She didn't play old for that long. That's true. That's a true. whole minute but and a half of at, the movie. I did feel like uh, during that scene where she comes back and he sees her, I felt like, oh, didn't I just see this in Ant-Man and the Wasp? <laughs> Thank you. And one part 
Oh, what I was going to say is, like, you did great casting Jason Momoa because he's amazing and perfect yeah. in every way. But could you have picked a better Scarlett Johansson knockoff than you did with the girl who played Mira or whatever? Oh. Like, she was almost identical oh, wow. to Scarlett Johansson. I thought Johansson. she did good, though. She the did hair, do good. The hair, though. Like, I was not that digging wig. the hair. That, yeah. Ariel... Like, in like a different <laughs> well, aspect. B before, uh, yeah. Before I say that about her hair, I, I do want to say that I did think it was. Ref I thought it was interesting to see Nicole Kidman in an action star role, like where she was kicking butt in the very beginning. I was like, wow, she actually did well. I don't know if that was a stunt double or what. Of course it was. <laughs> but she it was broken cool. a hip. <laughs> Sorry, Nicole Kidman, you're really not that old, and I'm. She's really yeah, she's making not it a fan. worse. But yeah, I'm a fan of Nicole Kidman. I I, I don't hate her. She's fine. Yeah. Um, but I but just yeah, don't. she's talented. Yeah. Uh, but I don't have to like her for her to lay true. her bed on her her, her bed. I mean, her head on her pillow. At night. Yeah, that's true. She's got plenty of money to, to yeah. swim in, like Uncle Screech. She got her own money pillow over here <laughs> yeah. sleeping just fine. Yeah. But I, I thought it was really cool because I've never seen her in an action role like that where she's just like kicking butt and fighting. Truly so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Mira, uh, what, what's, shoot, I've gone blank on her name. Mm -hmm. Uh, the actress. Literally thought she was Scarlett Johansson for a little, no. little while. It's, uh, I'm looking anyways, it up, don't worry. So yeah, that, the, um, I, like I'm torn on it because the wig, it worked underwater with that color yeah. palette and everything. But Amber when she, Heard. Amber Heard, that's it. She came out of the water and I get that that she's not from there so she's gonna look different but it, that color was not working mm -mm. in that uh in the the land color palette it was not it, it looked too cartoony which is why i think they put her in green to kind of like tone it that way um because i felt like it worked with her outfit okay mm -hmm. until you took into account everything else that happened that's not the problem that i have with it <laughs> Coming from a girl who has to brush her hair 12,000 times a day, that girl's curls were way too intact to go rolling through the desert like this. Please well, my, stop. Well, they've they've adapted, like they've evolved. So her may, maybe her, her hair has evolved with the salt water. <laughs> Baby girl, let me know what you're using because I need some. That would have been that would have been really funny. I mean, it, if they're if they're playing on the cheesiness, it would have been really funny. Is when she come out of the water and her hair did something crazy, like and <laughs> she had to put something in it or whatever. Anyways, that would have been funny if he like you know, I hey, I use this. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that <laughs> that would have been funny. Worked, yeah. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> their romance was so. And unnecessary. Uh, cringy. It was cringy. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. And because I don't use that word. Of... Like, I like I can endure almost anything. And it's like, okay, well, I see what they're going for, you know. Like Give it, them the benefit of the doubt. They almost played it like she actually liked the bad guy. So it seemed a little forced that she just, like, hated him. Because when she mm -hmm. was talking about her heart, the when they're on the plane or whatever. Well, I felt like she was talking about her nation and her people. Right, but then when he's, like, giving her the bracelet and stuff, like, it almost seemed like she kind of didn't want to betray him. Well, I don't know. I got I got the feeling that that she had known him for a long time. Right. And she was sad to see him go down this path, but she was going to be loyal to her people and right. her kingdom. Right, I get that. I'm just saying, like, I really don't like how they always make it seem like the rebound is what's going to last a lifetime, <laughs> you know? Like... You haven't even yeah. broken up with the dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I get that she hated him at the at or Aquaman Arthur at the very beginning, and they didn't. Okay, I think this is why the King Arthur thing at the end felt so weird because they didn't call him Arthur throughout the entire movie. They, well, she they, did every single time he got thrown around. She was like Arthur. Really? Yes, I, I she did it like him. four times. So much I was like, this is like Michael and Jan when they're like, babe. Babe, babe. Yeah, babe. Okay, babe. All right, babe. I don't know. What do you think, babe? <laughs> it was too forced. Yeah. It was aggravating. Yeah, and like the falling into his arms, things. Like, mm, oh. That was just. That was. Oh my gosh. It like was you too can cheesy. do that with the jokes, 
but not so much with like the serious not parts the character of the movie, development, not the like drama the of the movie. Yeah, yeah exactly. It, because we feel that it's forced. We mm-hmm. don't like that yeah. as viewers. Another thing that really bothered me is <laughs> there were two bad guys. Okay, his half brother, and then the praying mantis. Well, yeah, guy from, thing. I mean they're coming at him from land and sea. What? Yep, getting there. Oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole like it was I saw it coming a mile away because that they get introduced first and then he's like I'm gonna tell you something that I haven't told you your entire life and it's gonna be meaningful and sweet so I'm gonna die in the next five minutes yeah and then when I, I die <laughs> it's gonna you know project me into being the villain here I almost felt like it was like oh we're, this is a Simba moment like a yeah, Mufasa moment. Exactly. Like it was so unnecessary. Yeah, it's like okay, we're going to take a page from Disney's book playbook here. <laughs> like it, it, I knew it was obviously coming, exactly. but I felt like that was setting the tone for the movie. That was so fine I was because like I felt like that did give just uh, the Aquaman character like a little bit more depth because mm-hmm. like it showed him because what he said was you've killed I can't even remember I say like this is what he said and I can't even quote it <laughs> but you killed my father no he says something like you've attacked the sea ask it for mercy not oh, me you mm. know but then the oh, dad yeah, died because of his own vein like his own vanity mm-hmm. because he goes and tries to kill him one last time rather mm-hmm. than just like taking it well, of course the son doesn't see it that way because he didn't help right him. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> but then the the son almost dies the exact same way, like drowning mm-hmm. in that vanity that they have. And mm-hmm. so I actually liked that a little bit. Um, but what I didn't like is the the mana part. Like the, what? what Though that was his character from the comic. Right, but then the his right. costume looked like a praying mantis. That that was actually pretty true to the comic. Okay, well, comic y'all kind of which stuff. was cool, which I thought was, it was cool. It was, it's and a they, they, mantis and then a man. No, no, oh, well, a manta ray. Manta ray. Yeah. Do you know what those look like? Because his head, he's look like more like, like a mantis yeah, than a manta. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I keep saying mana, but it's manta. I keep saying mana with no T. Oh, gotcha. Oh, uh, oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry. But I, I did like how, while well, you remember, I did like how they uh, they tried to do the smaller, more realistic helmet, and then he was like, no, nah, this ain't going to work. I got to go bigger. <laughs> so that that was kind of a cool thing. I mean, maybe people who are more familiar with the comics will uh, be more into it or whatever, but... You know, I mean, I know, I know Aquaman from growing up watching Justice League as a kid, and you know, Super Friends and stuff like that. I and and I I know him from the outside, really. I don't. I'm not just a huge reader of Aquaman comics or anything like that. <coughs> I remember what I was gonna say. I feel like they combined a lot of movies and just put them all in one. One of the movies being Moana. The other movie. <laughs> Sorry, I got so tickled that I lost my train of thought. Um, like he, he turned into a waterbender for a minute there. From uh, she was definitely Avatar. a waterbender. Yeah. And uh, oh, what was I gonna? There were so many. I had like fifty in my head that they stole from, yeah. and now they're all gone. Yeah, I'll Romancing the Stone was later. a big one that's mentioned in the crit in the um. The critics mentioned. Um, I'll hit you with them later. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So the the romance completely contrived. Uh, the, the, I don't know. Some of the some of the things were just. I feel like she jumps into the water without her spear, but then she's got her her trident again later on, and mm. you know, like uh, unnecessary and, costume changes. Yes, at the very and end. then <laughs> um, when she's obviously passed out, she has drowned, which is weird. Mm. Like she in the very beginning, the Queen Atlantia has drowned. Oh. She got water in her lungs. Like, I guess what? they explained yeah. that away later when the half brother dude got some 
was like choking on water too. But mm. anyway, so when he picks her up, Aquaman's dad, she's still holding on to the spear too, yeah. super tight. <laughs> but then when the bad guys come to get him the first time, she's like, my weapon. And what accent did she even have? Like, oh, I didn't pick she up did on terrible. Accent. What? It was terrible. But she's like, my weapon. And he throws it to her. But it was just like sitting right on the wall. Like, you got a toddler and you're just going to leave that <laughs> trident out there? Like, <laughs> but, hey, how old is it? So uh, she's been there at the lighthouse with this dude for what, four or five years? Or no, maybe three or four. You know, he's a toddler. <laughs> and yeah, she's just going to leave it out. Longer than that, because if you notice, <laughs> the dog's a puppy, right? Yeah. But when she's pregnant, that dog is a full-grown dog. So before they ever even had a baby, she had been oh, there for years. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's so a in good point. 10 years, did nobody come and try and get you? And now all of a sudden, they just can't live without you. <laughs> they found her. Just They've been looking. Couldn't send a letter, be like, no, I'm a stay. <laughs> no. No, because it was traitorous and she was a queen. But yeah, I, I do get I do get the point you made about the trident just like sitting out like it's just something she has on the ready. Yeah. Instead of like putting it on the wall, at least like Michonne's katana, <laughs> you know, where it's it's ready but it's up out of the way from the babies. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna use it unless I need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna put it here and it's gonna stay here, you know. Yeah. I just felt like there were a lot of plot issues and Yeah. Or not plot issues but like Holes. Detail issues. Oh, yeah. Detail issues. Mm -hmm. Like, they were easy details to fix. Almost went up my nose. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I do feel like it was very ambitious, and I can respect what he was trying to do. I thought it was still a lot of fun. It was cool. Yeah. So, anything else you want to say? His suit at the end was super cool. Oh yeah, that that called back to the original Aquaman yeah. orange and and I really green. did appreciate like the detail that went into mm -hmm. it. It was really cool. It yeah, was pretty legit. Yeah, and I liked how him and his dad had the same tattoos. Yeah, that, that was, was a, cool. That was a good details. Yeah, good, good details. there were a lot of good details, but mm -hmm. a lot of missed ones. Like I, uh, yeah, I would like, have traded it for them to all just be decent rather than some really good ones and some bad details. Like mm -hmm. I really just would have settled for mediocre across the board. <laughs> Yeah, I just said where were they, but they established that in the very beginning. They were in Maine. Even though I felt like they were in Hawaii because he kept doing, like, the kata thing or whatever. But anyway, yeah. like that, you know. Yeah, it was very confusing. Yeah. Which, and yeah. he knew a bunch of different languages and stuff. Like, he talked about, oh, my dad wanted me oh, to know Russians, history or whatever. Yeah. But it's just like... Hmm. Could you have established that maybe he traveled a lot? Something? Like he would could swim across ocean, so he would just go to this place and that place, and he was a traveler or something. Mm -hmm. But like, it just seemed really forced. Like knowing the language and being able to speak that language and communicate with people yeah. is so so different, especially if you're not That's practiced. True. Yeah. Like, oh, he's taught me the basis of all these languages, and I yeah, know that. Yeah, his dad's just a humble fisherman. <laughs> he's not even a fisherman. A he's a lighthouse keep. keep yeah. Maybe that's what he does in his time. He just watches a bunch of uh. Ro uh, Rosetta Stone's videos. But what I was about to say is like, if you don't continually use them, you yeah, get rusty. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You know, and so like to be able to be fluent in those and communicate with people, mm -hmm. like that seemed a little contrived to me. Well, uh, that reminds me, uh, I'm not connected, but one thing I did, I did not understand is I thought that uh, after Justice League, they said that Aquaman went back and cleared up what was going on because he made reference to what was going on uh, with his mom and stuff in Justice League and uh, that they were that it was going to go back and cover some of the issue and then when he got to Justice League it that you know, it was like in between time before Justice League but the way this talked he had already defeated Steppenwolf like they even mentioned Steppenwolf by name yeah so this happened after, uh, after Justice League, and that kind of—I think the timeline's a little messed up. But I mean, that's DC for you. Well, <laughs> whenever he talks to Mira the first time, like he recognizes her, he knows mm -hmm. who she yeah. is. Mm -hmm. So to me, I felt like he had been there before, and had been like trying yeah. to figure stuff out. And then maybe the Steppenwolf thing happened, mm -hmm. and now it's yeah. Like, well, this in, is in the Justice time League, after. it was like. It was like he had been there and then rejected the throne 
but and he had like I don't come think back he had ever been to it Atl- then, Atlantis. Well, in, in Justice League, that's from what I understood, and I'm, I might be missing this, but from what I understood in Justice League, the way they were talking is that he had already been to Atlantis and was familiar with everyone, and had decided not to stay, and she was trying to get him to come back and take the throne. Well, the way it looked, like when they were first going into Atlantis, it seemed like he had never seen it before. I mean, he's right, like right, looking yeah, around like, yeah. oh, wow. So... Yeah, in this movie, it, it he mm, had obviously never been there. Mm, I don't so. know. I think it was definitely difficult to connect. Yeah. They didn't explain it enough, for yeah. sure. Yeah. But I guess, I guess that's what we're going to get is a disjointed DCEU where it's not all necessarily connected, but it's loosely connected or something. We'll see. But um, anyways, any any last thoughts? No, that's all I got. All right. Except for, sorry for being so harsh at you originally, Nicole Kidman. You're cool. (laughs) Yeah, you're doing great things right now. Uh, So. Oh, oh, I forgot one big thing. Sorry. I just realized. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To a movie about a man from the ocean, and you addressed the litter issue going on in our world, yeah. the pollution issue. Mm-hmm. You addressed it full frontal, and I really enjoyed that. Full frontal. Shut up. <laughs> I really liked it that um, you addressed it. It. I feel like it could have been talked about a little bit more, but you really, really mm-hmm. talked about it, and I am so very thankful for mm-hmm. that. Yeah, and that in the comics, I know that's one of the reasons uh, why he has an issue with the surface dwellers is that is because of the pollution and stuff like that. But in the comics, I think it's a little bit different than how they played it in the movie, where he's like from both and had lived on land or something. But anyways, um, <clears throat> all right, uh, that's it for me. That's all I got. I guess that's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget the website is www.broken.pictures. No.com, and you can check out the FOMO show. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, once we get going back next week, uh, you can find that wherever podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, and uh, on YouTube, of course, you can check it out there. Go mash the little bell so you can get notifications when new episodes come out, and little bonuses like this that we do every once in a while when we get the time. So, appreciate you, and we'll talk to you later. Peace. <laughs>